Hey guys, Dr. Sean here. We're going to talk about uh, a stress cascade today and what the body does. Now, Hans Selye came up with this idea years ago. He called it a general adaptation syndrome. And this is how the body works. So we know that stress is the cause of all disease. I always tease that men are the cause of all stress. And so I make a little triangle. And what is men? There's mechanical problems that the body goes through, physical things. There's emotions that we all have to deal with. Bills, work, family, friends, kids, all that stuff that's day to day. And then there's nutritional things that the body deals with. What we eat, what we drink, what we breathe, and how they affect the body. Now, if you look at all these things, it's kind of like a Neapolitan ice cream. You got your three flavors. You just got to figure out which one your body's dealing with and how. Now, the stress syndrome, and I wanted to use a whiteboard today to kind of show you this. The body goes through phases, and this should be, I hope, eye-opening for all of you. We're in a normal phase to start. Nothing's going on. Here comes our stress. The bear walks through the door. The body then says, uh-oh, we got to react. So it sets off an alarm. Now, that alarm phase, you don't even know. It's like sitting there on your arm all day, and you're sleeping, and all the, oh, that feels funny, so you shift your weight. Or you're standing there, and you're like, oh, my back's a little sore, so you shift your weight. That's an alarm. Happens thousands of times a day. We don't even respond to it. But if this stress is too great, and it says, hey, I'm pushing, and now I'm going to push you deeper, then the body gets into, uh-oh, I've got to put up some kind of resistance. I have to create a muscle contraction. And this is the piece. This is the key to the castle. This is where everything starts. A muscle contraction you can feel. You can touch a body and tell where it's at. Now what's unique about this and this general adaptation syndrome is that this is the point of no return. The body decides, I got it, and I can go back, or I'm in trouble, and I'm going to fall further into the well. The next stage down is exhaustion. Now, in the exhaustion phase, the body says, uh-oh, I'm really in trouble. You've made me hold this for too long, and I got tired. Imagine squeezing, like, just hold your fist as tight as you can hold it. Now, hold it for the next four days like that. Body wears out, so they can't do it. Now, here's what's unique about this. This is where all of your symptoms show up. Right here. Now I'm going to draw symptoms in a unique way. Because this is how medicine sees you. You're a dollar sign to them. And so their symptoms are here. Here's the problem. The next phase down is where disease sets in. This is where all the tests work. So you could walk into your doctor's office, hypothetically, in the morning, like, Doc, I've got this problem, I'm not feeling good, my stomach's hurting, I just feel blah. They can run all these tests, and hey, there's nothing wrong with you, sir, go home. Six weeks go by, you go, Doc, I'm really having trouble. They run some more tests. There's nothing wrong with you, because you're not here yet. You're here. You're in this phase. Your body's saying, look, I'm tired, I'm run down. You've not found it. But if we let it go long enough, six months, a year goes by, all of a sudden the body's, okay, I trickle into here. And now they're like, see, we told you you had that problem. Our test shows it. But a lot of people are in this zone. Now the next one that happens, if you don't get this ship righted and turn it around, the body will go into the next phase, which is degeneration. The tissue starts to change. Welcome to arthritis. Welcome to rheumatisms and all these things where you see the Barrett's esophagitis. All these horrible things where tissue starts to get damaged and change permanently. The last of the three D's that nobody practices in is death. The tissue dies. And when it dies, eventually so do we. So the work that we do in the internal health field we say, all right, let's focus on people here. Let's find the problem early. When the body creates a contraction, listen to it. Pay attention to it. Let medicine do what they're good at, but they tend to practice here. 
It's hard to treat something if you don't have a way of finding it. We do. That's what we do. That's how this works. I'm Dr. Sean, guys, and I hope that helps you.